Hello, my name is uh, Christopher DeLay. Today I'm going to cover viewing uh, certificate requests in the CA database. So sometimes it's important to be able to view the actual certificate requests that come into the CA. There are, there are many different reasons. One, maybe you're troubleshooting something and you just want to see kind of what is being requested. Um, you also may want to narrow down how a certificate is being requested and so you can get some additional information on the requester, um, the service that's requesting the certificate, and so it can be useful to view the certificate request um, on the CA after the request has already come in and been accepted. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how to do this. This is pretty easy. So you just simply open up the certification authority management tool and once you have that you're going to go to issued certificates and so in here we're going to want to view requests so there's one step we have to do now notice these are for all certificates that have already been issued so this process is basically going to show you the actual request for certificates that have already been issued so what you'll do is you'll click here and you'll go into view and add remove columns and then you want to find binary binary request and so here's binary request and then you can click add and then you're going to click OK so now that column would be added so now let's say for this uh, Kerberos authentication one or any of these we want to find out more about the certificate so on this Kerberos authentication one I'm going to do all tasks um, export binary data and then I'm going to look for binary request then go ahead and make sure view from <coughs> excuse me view formatted uh, text version of the data selected and you're going to go ahead and click OK and then here you have the actual um, contents of the request so you can go through here some useful things for looking in here for are you know who was the user that requested it uh, what machine did the request come from and what was the process so in this example uh, it was fourth coffee administrator that requested it from uh, fcdc01.forthcoffee.com was the machine and then it was requested by mmc.exe so we know that a u this user opened up um, the certificates mmc on this machine and requested the certificate you also see additional information here that may be helpful uh, like the subject that's requested um, key sizes and maybe what CSPs are used in the request and information about the template that was requested against and just generally all the request information is going to be available in here so you can use this to go through and troubleshoot some issues maybe if you're having some issues um, you know like I said if one example would be you're you're having a bunch of certificates issued and you're trying to narrow down what process those uh, requested those certificates you can kind of figure out how those things are being enrolled for um, or any other of this additional information that's in here. So that was just a quick tip on how to view a certificate request in the CA database. Uh, the next, um, I'm gonna have a few upcoming postings. One of them is gonna be viewing certificate requests from uh, the NDES server, so Network Device Enrollment Server, in case you need to do some troubleshooting with that. And then the last thing I really wanted to cover was that I started blogging again. Um, previously I, I blogged at a TechNet blog, blogs.technet.com slash x.509. Microsoft deprecated those blogs, so we no longer have access to posts there. But my blog has been archived, so the postings that I made before are accessible. My new blog is the one is a blog that I have complete ownership of and control of, and that's x.509.blog and so you can reach me there if you want to view my content it's going to be available there and I'm going to be updating content regularly it's going to be centered around uh, public key infrastructure and also around like identity and active directory so there's going to be a bunch of different topics covered there's going to be some short quick this is how you do stuff and then there's going to be some more long involved articles like on how to deploy various technologies so definitely keep checking back there if you have a request for a video, there are some different ways that you can reach out to me. Right now I'm funneling everybody through the contact page on my website. Shortly I'll have, uh, I'll, I'll be, have the ability to kind of go through and accept uh, contacts through LinkedIn and 
Twitter and all these other uh, methods, but right now I'm not regularly checking those platforms. So once I get in the habit of regularly checking out those platforms, then I'll have all my contact information come through those various platforms as well. So hopefully this is helpful. I uh, plan on posting uh, more videos uh, shortly, so stay tuned. Thank you.